Hi and welcome to Lunch Buddies. Today's topic is soup. And today's menu is soup. We're going to make it with tortellini, which is a ring-shaped pasta, zucchini, and tomatoes. I'm also going to show you how you can make something a little bit different using the same ingredients. If you don't feel like having soup, you can use the same ingredients and make pasta salad. But for now, we're going to read a book about soup. It's called, There's a Giraffe in My Soup by Ross Burak. <clears throat> Excuse me, waiter. There's a giraffe in my soup. This is a fine restaurant, sir, that simply cannot be. Look at that! There is a giraffe in your soup. A new bowl of soup for you, right away. Here you are, sir. A fresh bowl of soup, minus the giraffe, of course. Bon appetit. Hello, little frog. How did you get in my soup? Ah, you're not a frog. Waiter, waiter, an alligator, please hurry. My soup is trying to eat me. A new chomp, bowl of soup for you, chomp, right away. Here you are, sir. A new bowl of soup, alligator free, enjoy. Waiter, waiter, save her, save her, please hurry. There's an elephant in my soup, and I don't think she can swim. Waiter, waiter, hurry back. Yak, yak, yak. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Oh, yak, yuck. Ugh. Walrus, ostrich, shh, koala, snake, whale. Er, uh, can't he just eat around it? Here. At last, your soup, roaring with flavor. L lion, lion. Lying, lying, lying. Enough of your complaints. Sure, I made a minor gaffe with the giraffe. Maybe I overlooked a whale. But when it comes to taste, I am a professional. Do not dare accuse me of lion why didn't you say something i am terribly sorry sir it seems there's a slight mix-up the zoo was sent our food and we were sent their animals Let's skip the soup. Maybe dessert? Dessert 
is our treat. One mousse with a cherry on top. Never mind, I'm eating somewhere else. Wait for me! All the animals are going to the zoo. Table for one. The end. That's There's a Giraffe in My Soup by Ross Jurek. Today we're reading There's a Fly Guy in My Soup by Ted Arnold. You can access this book by going to the library's main webpage, scrolling down to Digital Library, and today we're using Overdrive. There's a fly guy in my soup. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. And Fly Guy could say the boy's name. Buzz. Chapter 1 One day, Fly Guy went with Buzz, Mom, and Dad on a long trip. They drove until dinner time. They stopped at a hotel. Yay, said Buzz. I love hotels. Cool room, said Buzz. Time for dinner, said Dad. There's a nice restaurant downstairs, said Mom, but Fly Guy can't go there. Fly Guy can eat outside, said Buzz. Right, Fly Guy? Yes. Fly Guy flew outside. He found a trash can. He found a puddle. He found a sticky spot. He found the biggest, slimiest garbage can ever. But he didn't find anything that he wanted to eat. Chapter 2 Then Fly Guy smelled something wonderful. Fly Guy followed the smell. At last, he found where he wanted to eat. Oops, messy. Fly Guy needed to wash before dinner. He spied a small round bathtub with warm brown water. Perfect. Fly Guy jumped in. He washed his face and hands. He washed his armpits. He washed between his toes. Chapter 3 Fly Guy's bathtub was picked up and carried to another room. It was set down on a table in front of a lady. The lady screamed, Waiter! There's a fly in my soup! The lady jumped up. Her soup and Fly Guy went flying into another lady's soup. That lady jumped up. Her soup and the first lady's soup and Fly Guy went flying onto a gentleman's head. The gentleman jumped up. The soup and Fly Guy and the gentleman's hair went flying. Everyone jumped up. Everyone's soup and Fly Guy and the gentleman's hair went flying. Fly Guy still needed a bath. Buzz, Mom, and Dad needed a bath. Everyone needed a bath. Last one in the pool is a rotten egg, yelled Buzz. Hotels Funzy. 
the end. Hello kids, welcome to Lunch Buddies. I'm Alex and this is Miss Georgia. Welcome to Lunch Buddies. Today we're going to make a soup with tortellini, which is ready shaped pasta. And it usually has a filling. It can be meat or cheese. And today we're using cheese tortellini. Zucchini is a vegetable, sort of looks like a cucumber. Um, and we're also going to have some tomatoes in our soup. These are little grape tomatoes. So Alex is going to help me chop the zucchini. He's going to use a child safe knife. It's the same one that we used in a previous program. So it's plastic, it's not very sharp. It's, and it's much easier for kids to use. So the first thing we're going to do is take the zucchini, which has been washed, and chop it in half. So now we have the zucchini and we cut it in half and it's laying flat on the cutting board. Then what we're going to do is cut that in half again. So while Alex chops the zucchini, I'm going to cut these little tomatoes in half. And I'm using what they call a serrated knife, kind of has little teeth. And this is very sharp. It helps cut through the delicate skin of the tomato. All of our vegetables are chopped up. I chopped up the little grape tomatoes in half. And I chopped up the zucchini in cubes. Right. To start the soup, you can do one of two things. What I'm doing is sauteing an onion. So sauteing means you put a little bit of oil and you heat up whatever the ingredient is. So I'm sauteing a little bit of an onion, about half. And that's just for flavor. You can also just start with the chicken broth. You would use six cups of chicken broth and just heat it up and put the vegetables in. Once the vegetables are softened, you add the tortellini. And the tortellini would just need to boil in the water for about three to four minutes, and your soup is done. So I'm gonna take you over to the stove, and we're going to go over the steps for the soup that I'm making. Remember I said we're sauteing the onion? We sauteed the onion a little bit, and now we added the zucchini and the tomato. So the vegetables have softened a bit. We're going to add a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper. I set aside some of the vegetables to use for a pasta salad. And now to make the soup, I'm adding chicken broth. Our broth is boiling now. And the vegetables are all softened. So we're going to add our tortellini to boil as well. I just added the tortellini. This is what it looks like. It 
Each tortellini is filled with cheese. You know that your soup is ready once the tortellini has risen to the top. And we can have a nice hot bowl of soup or make delicious pasta salad using the same ingredients. If you would like pasta salad, you just remove some of the tortellini from the soup and add it to the vegetables that were sauteed earlier. Then just add a little bit of olive oil and a sprinkle of Parmesan cheese. Then you mix it all up and you can have a nice warm tortellini salad. Or you can put this in the refrigerator and have a nice cold pasta salad for lunch tomorrow. If you'd like to have some tortellini soup, it's all ready. Just take a ladle and put it in a bowl. So there's our soup. So we have two different meals using the same ingredients. We have soup and pasta salad using tortellini, tomatoes, and zucchini. Enjoy.